we are given the following is a test obtained during an open circuit test. Take note, it is obtained during an open circuit test on a single phase transformer. It is best that we do understand when dealing with this part of an open circuit and the calculations that can happen at a no load uh, current to be considered because of that open circuit. What is it that we are considering on the open circuit test? An open circuit test is going to be of this nature. All right, let me just try have this here so that it can be easier for us. Open uh, circuit test. You'll be working with your normal configuration, but the output this time will be equal to zero. Meaning to say there's nothing on the output. So you'll be having uh, just a simple circuit to present this. We're going to have our voltmeter. Remember our voltmeter in parallel to what you're supposed to measure. Then uh, in this case, we're going to have our ammeter and our watt meter. Okay, remember the watt meter connection, guys, from your electro technology entry. You hear this, all right? And this will be like this to the this winding and the output is the one that is open so you're just gonna have nothing considered we are supposed to have a, a load connected there on the output but in this case this is just gonna be open so having uh the input that is where you're gonna have our v1 uh this is our voltmeter measuring the voltage so that is where you're gonna measure our v1 uh, the ammeter measuring the current is going to measure our current me uh, across then also the watt meter measuring the power so which is at no load that is a no load considered is open meaning to say the output is what output is equal to zero there's nothing on the secondary side. So in this, you can have uh, calculations. The major part of your calculations there is gonna be the power at no load, which is uh, gonna have P naught, which is V1. Gonna consider the no load current, then cos phi for the no load. But remember, I talked about this when we're dealing with the Equivalent circuit, when we, we talked about it, this no load, when we had this IO, uh, th this part here, sorry, this V there, we need voltage there, V1, Vo voltage. Remember, I talked about this, that if you still remember, it is equal to IC, okay? Remember that uh, the core loss component IC is equal to IO, the cos of what? The cos of the angle that you're given. So this part, it represents IC. So the same power can be given as V1 IC. Meaning to say from the same, also IC can be obtained if you've got P out. I mean, if you've got the power at uh, no load, it's going to be power at no load over what? Over V1. If you are given that, it can be an advantage if the information is already presented not forgetting our magnetizing component, which is IO sine of phi. I talked about these guys from introduction. Make sure that you check uh, on the equivalent. And also uh, finding I naught if you are given IC and IM, which is from our Pythagoras theorem, is going to be IM squared plus IC squared, which is our no load current and P out is the power of open circuit, which is the no load power, talk of no load power, also considered, or, or also this power is referred to as the constant loss. It's also given as the constant loss. It's also referred to as the iron loss. If they ask you to calculate the iron loss, they are, cal they are asking you to calculate that open circuit 
uh, I mean the the power at uh, no Lord. They can ask you something like that. So as you deal with an open circuit, guys, this is what you need. So let's see if this can answer this question with other formulas that we had before. This is not just uh, like it's something new, guys. We talked about these formulas before. The following is a test. Uh, the following is test data obtained during open circuit test on a single phase. The second unwinding was left open was left open the second that was open that's we are dealing with what no load open circuit that's an open circuit test the voltmeter reading this is what we have remember the voltmeter is measuring v1 according to our diagram the voltmeter is v1 the ammeter is measuring io the watt meter is measuring po uh, which is the no load this is at no load so the power there is power at no load the current measured is current at no load the power, uh, the voltage here is v1 okay so this is what you need so once they are giving you the they are expecting you to understand what is it about this uh, reading is like it's connected on the primary side this is where we have our voltmeter so the voltage there it's v1 okay what about the ammeter reading on the primary side? We are considering of the no load current. That is the one that is that will be measured. Like I said, uh, the watt meter reading measuring what the no load power, which is one thousand and seventy eight watts. It open circuit. That was the power that was measured. Determine a the call loss component of no load current, the core loss component, I see. So the core loss component is gonna depend because of the formula, if you are giving uh, the angle, but in this case, we do not have the angle, so you need to calculate the angle. But remember, there's a shorter formula that I talked about from, the, from this one, that if power is there, then IC can be determined from that power and V1. So we can use this formula because it's already there. So A, we could have calculated IC from P over voltage. The no load voltage, I mean the no load power, which is the open circuit power, is given 1078 over V1, which is the, the voltmeter reading, that is our V1, 2200. So with this, we are going to calculate your IC. It was direct color's component, and that was going to be 0 0.4 nine amps but let's say you maybe do not understand this and you need to work it from this formula that we are used to from the formula that we are used to uh it states that in order for us to find ic we must have the no load current then we're gonna have the cost of what the cost of the angle cost of phi at no load which we are stuck because of that, because we do not have this. And we are not even given power factor. If it was there, we know that that represents what? The power factor. But we do not have that either. So where can we obtain? Is there any formula that consists of a cost? If we check another formula that consists of a cost, is on the power on our no load there so let's try to play around with that because we have that power so it's gonna follow that p out is equal to v1 i out the cost of what cost of the angle and this is what we need can we make it the subject yes we can simply divide by v1 i not both sides v1 i not both sides so this can cancel and you are left with what the cost of the angle which is your power factor actually that's your power factor the cost of the angle where p is given uh open circuit 1078 over what v1 the voltage v1 as we are given 2000 uh 200 times i naught which we are given the no load current of 1.4 so it was going to give us 
the cos theta the cos uh, angle the cos phi cos of uh, phi which is 0, 0,35 as our angle as the the cos of the angle this one is the cos of the angle not the angle actually but the cos of the angle if you want to calculate the angle but it's not necessary because you're not having the angle so far if you wanted that if you want to calculate the angle now from the 0, 0,35 you can obtain the arc cos. I'm saying if you wanted this, then your phi in this case is going to be arc cos of 0, uh, 0,35, which will be something like 69,513, something like that. If you wanted it, it was going to be fine. But in this case, there is no need because this is representing the cos as it is, which is the cos as it is here. So it was just a matter of substituting. So therefore, I see was going to be IO, which is we are given. Remember, our IO is 1,4 times the cos, which is our power factor, 0, 0,35. Already it's, it's there. So that was going to give us uh, the core loss component. That's another way that we could have obtained this, and that was going to still give us the 0, 0,49 amps as our core loss component. So that's it. This you can obtain whatever that you want, guys. Remember uh, your values and your calculations. And the magnetizing component, we have got IC and we've got IO. So instead, we can just use uh, the formula for IO. Remember that IO is the square root of IM squared plus IC squared. So we can use this formula, unless if you are to use the one for uh, IM, it's uh, IO sine of the angle, because you have the angle, so you can still use that. So I want you to use it and prove if you are going to have the same formula. From this one, we can manipulate and make uh, IM the subject, because we need the magnetizing component, magnetizing, which is IM. We can make it the subject. How do you remove the square root? Square both sides. So you're going to square both sides. That's going to be uh, I not squared is equal to I squared plus I C squared. This is what we need. So you're going to transpose the I M to the other side so that we are going to have I not squared, all right, which is our no load current. All right, sorry for this, guys. I need this one. Our no load current squared minus this, we've taken this, it becomes a negative. Minus IM squared is equal to IC squared. What is that we need? IC, so it's the square root, the square root to remove the power of two. So that was going to give us the value of IC, which is now taken from this formula. Guys, we need IM. Why am I making IC is the subject? As it simply tells me that now I'm tired. Okay, I need to refresh a little bit so that we can have a continuation in our next class tomorrow. So this is what we need, guys. I am. So you're gonna take this. Okay, so that's I not squared minus IC squared is equal to I am squared. Introducing the square root, the square root both sides that's gonna cancel and you remain with I am. So your I am was gonna be the square root of I not squared minus I C squared. So this is what you're going to have. And we can substitute uh, into the formula that we just created, manipulated into to calculate our I M square root of I not, which is our no load. Uh, that's 1,4 amps. So we're going to have 1,4 squared minus I C which is 0, 0,49 squared. So that was going to give us the value of IM as 1,311 amps. Or like I said, since you saw that from that calculation uh, that we had from the power factor, I even showed you guys the angle, you ended up having uh, the angle as uh, the angle, if you still remember when you calculated that angle, uh, it was 69, 513 on that end we can even calculate i m because i m from the angle the magnetizing is given from what the no load sine of what the angle 
So meaning to say current I note is 1,4 times the sine of the angle 69,513 degrees. That was still going to give us the value of IM because already you have the angle from that. It, it depends with what you had used before as your calculation. If you have not used the angle, then we have to calculate the angle first from the arc cos of uh, the power factor. Like I showed you guys how to do that. So you're going to calculate that. It was going to be another way, which is still fine. That's another way that we could have obtained the same magnetizing component. So considering the open circuit test, where we do not have a lot of the output, you can see that it's just a basic of what we had before. And now we are just like putting those formulas into, into practice. Remember yet I, I introduced these formulas before. So we're just putting these formulas into, into practice. So this is what you're going to have in your revisions. Just try to work as much questions as you can. Now rev uh, revisit. Uh, your textbook and see how do they ask the questions and also visit your question papers for more so that you get to understand the typical exam questions. Till we meet again.